Video games. Huh. Andrew, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. What in the fuck? I was actually reading, uh... Oh, they got a now. gift! What? Deus Ex. Game of the Year edition. edition. It's awesome. What the fuck? I just wanna fucking hit it. I was reading an interview with Mickey Rourke recently about how much he was like... He despised how Iron Man 2 Oh, sh shit! Shit! Just, did he now? Was it just because it was so boring? Well, he, apparently he actually did, like, a lot of work to make his character deep, because he didn't want Mango to be this, like, super one-dimensional Russian villain. Yeah, you kind of see where, like, he, he there might have been something more to it there with him, but... Like, he like he went and, like, lived in Russia <laughs> for a while and, like, spent months working on his accent and wanted to have, like, justification. It's weird that actors like, don't just try acting anymore, huh? <laughs> We want to have like a relatable justification for all Van Gogh's actions too, not just ah revenge. Yeah. But like he says, all that got left on the cutting room floor. And his exact words were because some nerd with a pocket full of cash <laughs> wanted a one-dimensional Russian bad guy. I won't like. Now I still think Iron Man Two was just super rushed. Yeah, probably. It came out a year after Iron Man 1. And it's not like they knew Iron Man 1 was going to be their big hit out of their first slip of movies. Was it a year? Yeah. That seems awfully... Seems awfully quick to me. It was super quick. I can't imagine that two Iron Man movies was actually in their initial plan for Phase 1. You know? Are you fucking... Oh! God damn it. I knew that was going to happen too. God damn what a horrible it. death! <laughs> Just I mean, it'd be pretty quick though. <laughs> it'd be super quick. No, I would never. I would never. By the way, I would never say. I would never say Dread was eh. <laughs> Thanks, Princess. Dread was awesome. Dread was awesome. Dread was good. And nobody went and saw it. I just went and saw it in theaters. I did too. I mean, it's it's. What's a, your excuse? It's, I just didn't. It's exactly like that one movie, though, The Raid Redemption. It is like a straight rip-off of it completely, just with dread. Still good, though. Yeah. Praise is terminated to ending thumb. coming out this year is well known. What are gonna be the bombs? The bombs? Gods of Egypt. But I guess it's already out and already out. Uh, Gods of Egypt but, uh, Gods of Egypt was at least stupid fun. Yeah, it was way better than financial I thought it was be. or just bad. No no bomb like box office bomb. Not not even speaking to the quality of the film, just the ones that are not gonna perform well. There, there are literally Gods too many movies coming out this year to not have several bombs. Mm. That's a big variety. I think Suicide Squad's gonna do well. Actually. I think so too. The most talked about one at Comic Con. Yeah, two years ago. I don't Man know if fun. Superman versus Batman's gonna do well. Uh, Batman yeah. versus Superman. Oh, yeah, well, even if it's not good, it will do well financially. Yeah, it's already doing well on pre-orders because they did a they did a whole pre-order campaign. Yeah. Well, they did. They spent so much fucking money on that movie. Yeah, they did. So it's like I don't know if it's gonna hit. Internationally, it'll definitely do well, but almost all Hollywood movies make back their money internationally. Yeah. But yeah, it's got to be a big success to be considered a success. London has fallen. Please bomb. Nah, it's gonna be a fun, stupid, fun movie. I think it'll bomb. I think Ghostbusters is gonna bomb. I don't think Ghostbusters is gonna bomb. Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy have. Uh, have kind of like that, um, 
like female. Like I'm not saying demographic pull. Like they're not funny ladies. I think but I mean, it'll like, do because, okay. I don't be, think it'll yeah, do amazing because they because they've been in movies that have done really well with female audiences. I think seeing both of them in a movie again together since uh, what was that one they did? Fuck, uh, Bridesmaids. It'll it'll immediately make people want to see it. Plus, it looks funny. You know, watching the new trailer, it does look like it'll be fun. Amazing? Fuck no. But. I think it'll do well. I think it'll do well just on the fact alone that it's going to be a good date movie. Maybe. I think, because to me it does. It seems like the type of movie that a lot of people... Independence Day 2 will not bomb. I don't it's think probably Independence Day well. 2 will bomb. It, it seems to me like Ghostbusters is the type of movie that more people are going to wait for Blu-ray and go see in the theater, is the thing. Mm. Independence Day? Ghostbusters, you mean? Ghostbusters. Seems uh, to me the movie people will wait... No, it's gonna be it's gonna be hitting that. I'm not I'm not underestimating like date, dating movie demographic hard. Bender, I'm not uh, underestimating the uh, demand for Batman versus Superman. I just think they put a lot of freaking money into it, and a lot of people, wrongfully in my opinion, were pissed about Batfleck. Um, you know, I think Batfleck's actually gonna be pretty fucking good as Batman. I, I think at this point, um, most people have got over it though too. Maybe yeah. I just announced it a while ago. I uh, again and like I, it, like ripped off the bandaid, so to speak. Yeah, that's fine. And now people have seen him in action in the trailers, and like, oh, here's, he looks pretty awesome. Here's here's kind of a Hollywood like, it's just a thing, right? The earlier you start advertising, the less faith you have in a project doing well. How long ago did they start advertising? You oh, know, right year away. Out? Oh right, my god, right away. Yeah. Um, you know, they planned like, on it coming out like within a year of announcement first. They're gonna rush it. I think it's good that they pushed it back. You know, it's like I uh, I don't I don't necessarily think it's gonna like bomb bomb. I just think that they're gonna maybe not have a good time. especially if the first like opening day audiences don't like it. Oh, I award of mouth damage. Yeah. I don't because I think at this point most people already have a commitment to see it. Or not see it. Like most people now, if they if they want to see it, are gonna see it, no matter what anybody says, and vice versa. Yeah. If well, they I'm do gonna not see it. See it I, I don't think gonna... you could have been someone to go see it. The thing about it is, I don't know why you wouldn't see it. It's just gonna be a fun, you know, Hollywood blockbuster. It's a movie made to be a Hollywood. Well, blockbuster. because movies are expensive, and a lot of big movies coming out this year, so yeah. people actually do have to be selective about: Do I go see this movie? Yeah, that's you know, that's fair. Space that's, out. that's kind of the problem with how many big movies out right now. It's like, I love seeing pretty much all the Marvel movies. The only ones that disappoint me are the Thor movies. I'm not going to go yeah, see Yeah, I every, saw that, Nom. Thanks, man. I'm not going to go see every Marvel movie that comes out this year. I'm going to see Civil War. I might see Doctor Strange if the trailer is really good. I might see it. Yeah, um, I mean, there's a lot of Marvel movies now. I, I didn't go see Ant-Man because I was like, I fucking have spent too much money seeing movies. You know, the funny thing is Ant-Man actually turned out to be I, I believe it was. It's just I'd already like filled my movie quota for the year. And go see more fucking movies. Ant Thirty dollars for my wife and I to go see a movie. Ant Man uh, actually turned out to have some of the best like character work in it. Um, I think I don't know. Oh, and Kindergarten Cop two. Oh god, fuck! I can't even believe it. But whatever. I mean, out of Batman loyalty, I'm amped about Batman Superman, and also because I'm pleasantly surprised by how awesome that is. I think he's gonna. I think. Um, and I still have a lot of things that I shake my head about at that movie. I'm like, why is, why is Jesse Eisenberg playing this really like goofy, you, you know, what we're used to movie version of Luthor? Hopefully, I agree. I agree. Hopefully, Bender. what we're seeing in the trailers is not actually what we're going to get in the full film. But I, I'm oh, not yeah. putting money on that. Oh yeah, we're going to get that. Like it's just, it's just the same movie Luthor we've always got forever that has never been actually. Movie. That's what we're getting. That's I don't know. Mean. Kevin Spacey could have been Lex Luthor. Could have done it really well. Oh yeah. Um, With the right writing and direction. Sure. Yeah. You know who I, I really think would have been amazing as Lex Luthor? Um, Brian Cranston. Oh yeah. He the one that everyone would've... thought was going to be Luthor. Yeah. Was like a false report. Yeah. But also, I think they're going with a younger actor to more match. Because they want to have him available. Yeah. So it's like, okay, fine. A younger actor who could have been Luthor is probably a thousand of them. And even then, Eisenberg probably could have been a perfect standard. But they're, they seem like they're going for the super centric, goofy one. Well, that's the only reason you cast Eisenberg. He doesn't do anything else. 
he, I don't know. he doesn't do anything. I like that. That's he wasn't goofy in uh, now you see me. Where the fuck that magician? He's movie. eccentric, sort of, but not as he always not, goes for eccentric. Not movie Luthor version. He's not even. He's not even really goofy in um, Zombieland. He's eccentric. It's he's strange. Awkward, he's got like awkward. You know, it's like the. If you want goofy eccentric, you go for Michael Cera. If you want eccentric, you go for Jesse Eisenberg. But at any rate, I'm gonna see that one. Suicide Squad looks really cool. Actually, looks like I think that's gonna be a fun. Yeah. And Civil War. Civil War looks like one of those ones where I, it's gonna be good because I know Winter Soldier was really good. So I yeah. think Civil War is gonna be good. Even though I think they haven't developed the characters in the movie well enough to make Civil War hit the way that it did in the comics. Uh, I don't know about that. They've developed the relationship between Cap and Iron Man pretty well, and that's why they're going to. Uh, I honestly think they have like almost no connection. Like, they they fight every time they see each other. So now it's also a big a big deal that they're going to fight. Um, like, every time they're well, by the together, end of Avengers Two, by the end of the Avengers Two, they're kind of like. Well, like friends. two hours before the movie like ends, they've been punching and blasting at each other. It's like that's what they they fight all the fucking time. That's <laughs> that's what we've seen on screen anyway. So now like Iron Man's like I was your friend too. It's like hey, not really. I mean you guys were allies, not friends. There's no like personal attachment to each other. Who wrote Civil War? I I don't recall. But I think it's the same writer from... I think it's like the same team that did Winter Soldier and Civil War and Infinity War. Oh, then it would be good because, uh... I'm sure that the movie's gonna be good. I just think that the wow factor it had in the comics is not gonna be present in the movies because the Avengers characters have already fought each other so fucking much in their own movies. I want a decent Batgirl-based movie. I don't, I don't know if you're ever gonna get a decent basketball back girl. Basically. Maybe I want Gotham to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I want Gotham to get canceled. It's not good, but people keep fucking watching it. I don't know why either. <laughs> I when I was sick, I, I don't need all to watch it. You know, it's not good. I, when I was sick, I was watching all of her season, and the only person I ended up like actually liking as a character is Nigma. Like, the rest of it, I just, like, I felt like it was a waste of time watching. Edward Nigma, I was fucking rooting for him to go psycho. Like, I was like, oh my god, he's totally gonna go psycho. And when he finally does and murders someone, you're just like, fuck, yes, you weird motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's such a shit to him when he's just being, like, a good guy and he's helping people. Then when he finally goes psycho, you're like, you fucking deserve this. You're doing good, man. I don't know, I mean, I watched the first couple episodes of Gotham, like, the first four episodes, three episodes, I think. To give it an honest try. Like, I'm gonna give it an honest try, because I'm really skeptical, but at least now I can say I tried. It's fucking terrible. But but I hear that fucking Jada Plinkett's Cliff has amazing in Gotham. Actually, she it's was fun. one of the stronger actors in it that yeah. I saw. I didn't have any issues with her acting in that show whatsoever. Was she hot? Yeah. Not bad like when she's all strung up and arms all hung up like that. I didn't see her all. Just like captured by someone. I didn't watch far too far in the show. Oh. Seriously, that's pretty oh, hot, yeah, bro. That's... Yeah, I remember the party turned up. Yeah. Hot. She's a pretty lady, yeah. You get to see her sexy arms just hanging there. Oh, that's probably Roombay's favorite. Uh, Roombay's favorite because she gets to look right at those armpits. Uh, right, <laughs> right at them pits. Do you like those armpits? Yeah, the plink of pits. <laughs> well, the show is just not good. It's not even a matter of opinion. It's scientifically provably bad. The thing that upsets me is that DC can't seem to do very many storytelling things right. Like they can't, they can't seem to break into any of it. Like movies, their movies are kind of like Ey. their TV shows. The ones that are okay get praises being fucking wonderful, and then the ones that are you know crap get like you know oh they're okay. Their animated movies were killing it. For Although a while. Arrow was good. yeah, their animated movies. Are Arrow good. was great in seasons one and two, and then it just it became ridiculous. Went yeah, downhill to shit. Seasons one and two of Arrow, I agree, were really good. Although the one thing uh, season three did right was that the casting of Rachel Gould was great. Oh really? He was really well done. He just didn't belong in the show. Like he's not an Arrow villain. 
I, uh, it's very obvious that you guys are trying to do a Batman story, but can't. <laughs> that was season three. Yeah, no, Arrow's good. I don't know. I, the Flash is okay. It's not, like, amazing. I, I do not... like the Flash because it's not afraid of what it is. I, I gotta give it props for that. Especially, like, people give, uh... What's Prison Break? Whatever the fuck his name is. They give him a lot of shit. But the truth is, he's just very aware that he's playing a comic book villain and could not care less. Like, he's just... He's, I'm going ham yeah. on it. <laughs> I'm not... You know, and the thing about it is, it's not... I'm not saying, like, it's awful. I'm just saying, like, it's... No, Flash isn't, like... It's not that great. It's not amazing. People are just... They really... They really want something to be good from DC. You know? And... So they're doing their best to, like, support it. And that's fine. But... That doesn't make it great. Oh! Oh, well. Tech tights! Little, little gamers! I haven't seen Supergirl yet. I heard it sucks. We are still playing, Ace. What's up? Got a season two, though, I think. Dude. I don't know. Supergirl? I don't I think know. So. I think it already got signed off for season don't two. Don't know. Although, don't Supergirl care. has a couple of cool things to it. Like, the whole fish out of water thing is way better with Supergirl than it is with Superman, in my opinion. It's probably more wow. interesting. It is more interesting because she came as an adult, and so, like, her experiences are... I Oops, I pressed the totally the wrong, totally the wrong button. Yes, okay. thank God. That shit is way better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actually gets pretty decent once you get about halfway into the season. And I only, I only give it this because I started watching it halfway into the season when, like, you had Bill Paxton on there. Who... See, I did the same thing with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I did with Gotham. I watched the first few episodes and stopped it. Oh yeah, see, normally I'm not, nope, I'm not down with it. Uh, the only reason I watched all of Gotham was because I was sick and I couldn't leave bed. So, I was just like, yep, yeah, this will just keep playing all day. <laughs> yeah. Um. Woo! You have to disagree with that. Unless you know a lot about The Flash, you'd know that the show actually does a good job translating. That's fair. I, I'm, I, it's more like the character doesn't really interest me. Accuracy to the source material doesn't make something good. It, well, it can if that's if that's your barometer for good. Like, if you want to see a show that's accurate to the source material and you're willing to hang the other things, okay. But I don't know. I think you can deviate from the source material if da, it tells a better da, da. story. If it makes a stronger da, 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 da. character. Yeah, but how many that? people do you know that piss off? That get really pissed off about that? Oh, plenty. First person yeah, in Twilight Princess. But, I mean... Yeah, it's like the Flash... Oh, brother. I don't even think that the Flash is good brother because it's accurate. Agent Carter is better than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Fair enough. I think the Flash has a couple brother. strong characters. It's also got a couple really weak characters. But I respect that it's... It's like a fearless comic book adaptation. And I respect that. I did like in this this dungeon how like the the weapon that you get here is is like referred to as like what are you trying to put us back on top? Hero's bold, yeah. yeah, and it's the same bow from fucking Majora's Mask. Yeah, and wonder he, where they got that. Well, it's kind of neat. The link how that isn't dead. Yeah, it's kind of neat <laughs> how they're referencing like they're actually like following through with shit. Yeah, that's the exact same bow from Majora's Mask because Link wasn't dead in Majora's Mask. He came back to Hyrule. Thoughts on Lucifer? He gave it to the Gorons. Uh, the show looks like it could be fun. Like, if they don't take it too seriously and they don't try to do anything really serious I with it. I have no idea what the show is. Uh, Lucifer, it's about, it's about literally, uh, the devil owns a nightclub on Earth and he's left hell because he's just, like, tired of being the bad guy. Like, he's tired, he's tired of, like, carrying the weight of having to be that bad guy. And so he just opens a nightclub, he's like, ah, fuck it. And so hell is after him to retake over, um, you know, and so they're hunting him. But then one night, uh, somebody gets murdered in his club and, uh... I, I forget what it has to do with how it draws him in, but he gets intrigued about it, and so he likes to fuck with people, obviously. So he's fucking with people, and he solves the crime, and he decides he likes it. So he uh, he basically takes control of this one police officer's life so that he can continue to. And there's no, like, sexual tension between him and the police officer, and he does totally evil shit to solve crimes. <laughs> like, And he gives no shit about solving the crime. He only does it because it's, it's keeping him from being bored because he's no longer running hell. And so it's just like a fun, stupid movie. And like people that have reviewed it have said, like, it's a fun, stupid, you know, show. The moment it tries to be serious is the moment that it'll get like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, but they also made a, another complete ripoff of that show, like about the devil being. I think, it, it, or no, I'm sorry, it's not the devil. I think it's an omen ripoff mm. where you're. It's the son of the devil finds out he's the son of the devil, and so he starts doing evil things 
but like his conscious might start playing with him, you know, like, I don't know, they, they allude to his conscious starts to develop while he's uh, doing it. Who cares? Yeah, it's like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. The only way to really get comic book characters to television is they animate it. The shows are great, but it's so limited in budget. The Flash's CG animation is weak compared to network shows, but it's tolerable enough to enjoy it. Arrow used to have great fight scenes, but it's gotten stale. Fair enough. Damien, yeah, that's... I really think they didn't plan anything for Arrow past season one or two. I think that was their initial plan, and then they're like, oh shit, we have to make more of this. That's how season three happened, and I'm told, I haven't even seen season four, I'm just told by people whose opinion I trust that season four is no better than season three, it's actually a little worse, I'm like, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. I, I okay. Well, I mean, season one was fucking cool. Whoa, thank you, just because you're awesome, ten dollars. Awesome. Um, yeah, no, I, season one was really good of Arrow. Like, I really liked season one. And I know it's shitty, but when he stopped killing people is when I started to feel like, ah, it's getting totally wrong. <laughs> like, a hero, a hero that was killing people was making me be like, damn, okay, that's cool. I still thought the Deathstroke was really well, like, portrayed and built up as, as a villain. Yeah. And then, like, just after that, they're like, oh, we're not going to actually build up our villain anymore. We're just going to throw well-known Batman villains at you. Well, I love that they, they basically oh, spent an entire... Right dead. Dead. Damn it. They spent an entire season building Deathstroke. Spilled two seasons, I mean, really. Really, yeah. Uh, before he's... Uh, even Russell the beginning Dicks of season two, tussle. he's still not the villain. Russell like, Dick's the tussle. That's fucked up. Um, he becomes a villain like midway through season two, like when it's revealed that he's the villain of the season. Because first it was Brother Blood. That's true. Let's kill this bitch. And do it. So the thing goes topsy turvy, so you have to throw on your uh, your boots every now and then to stop from flying off. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, when he rolls into you, really. I think you oh, it's, that's just you just can a stop. You oh, can, okay. You can probably. Yeah, it's, it's once you once you knock him down and he goes and starts rolling, that's when you really need to have the boots on. Crixus! Fuck yeah. Eat a dick. Boots. Boots. You have to hold A to grab him? Yes, you do. Seventeen is our death count. It's not that bad, really. Uh, it's about seventeen more than I usually die. And times I die in a Zelda game. This is man mode. If you weren't dying, it wouldn't be hard enough. Technically, your deaths are only what five, six. Yeah, you're at six now. Technically, technically I'm only at five. Boots. Oh, I was holding fucking A. Oh, shit. 
Target him. Here he comes. There you go. I think you have to target him. Oh, okay. That's why I was... Got fucked, huh? Looks like Sim is about to get a second chance. You got it, bro. Don't go that way. Jump to the side. Go to the side. There you go. Get a winner's position. Winner's position. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Into the drink. So we've all made it to one roll. <laughs> you made it to two, didn't you? Uh. He's oh. gonna die now. Come on, Simmons. He's gonna fucking die. Knock his ass out. I need to remember where there's fairy fountains in this game. Fucking use him because I never needed him before. Into the orange soda he goes. I wish I could try and slap that belly with my sword. Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you skip the cutscene. So if you skip the cutscene, you have to jump down? That's fucking cool. It's a very slow fighter, isn't it? Simmons. That's rough. Oh! Dude, this game is uncool. Too strong I should probably go soon. I got a three hour drive on. <laughs> yeah, let's uh you wanna go to seven? End of seven? Sure. Okay. It's time to kill this motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta kill this guy. Kill this motherfucker! Pounced! But not one punched. Two punched. Two punch! No? Doesn't worry, it's not as good. It's not as good, right? Nah, it's just it's I've never seen it. There's enough Steve likes to fucking yell at all the time. What the fuck was that? Bullshit! What the fuck? 
I hit him like five times. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm pissed. Now I'm mad. <laughs> Thanks, souls! Ah. I still haven't beat the fucking Bell Gargoyle in Dark Souls. Manic <laughs> Souls. That's where I died on the E3 demo I got there. I was one of 12 people all show to get to the Gargoyle. I got somebody to kill me because I rolled off. I, I did a roll dodge and I rolled off the fucking. I, I did that once. <laughs> off the river. Ah, I, I like can fight one. the first Gargoyle, no problem. But the second one comes in and just it's just dick. <laughs> just dick in and around your face. Oh, there's two point. gargoyles? Yeah. Once oh. you get them down to like a little over half health, the second one comes in and just starts fucking blowing fire oh, at you from okay. a distance. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, the thing was, like, I think the only reason I was able to get it as far as I was in that game was because I just played it extremely slow and boring. Yeah. Like, extremely slow and boring. I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, it's just it's a game of patience. Once you get good at parrying, it's a lot easier. Yeah. Of course, you can't downplay the dodge. Yeah. Can't get closer to an edge. Fuck off! <laughs> what the fuck? Eat a bag of dicks! There you go. Do it! Straight into the lava. That was just a swish. What the fuck? I'm holding <laughs> I mean, all things considered. It could have gone worse. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm fucking holding the thing now. I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Okay, whatever. And into the ravine. The fuck was that? Lava. <laughs> 